Chapter 9. Power Meter and Light Source In review, recall the OTDR provides the user with the particular locations of back reflections and attenuations, along with the length of fiber, which may identify a breakpoint or a macro bend. The power meter and light source, called a test set when both are contained in the housing or presented together, measures only the net loss of light or the attenuation in a length of connectorized fiber. This is perhaps the most popular test performed. We will demonstrate a one reference cord, type A test only. This test measures the light loss of the fiber, all connectors and splices, but not the mating loss of the connector plugged into the power meter. A two reference cord, type B, test procedure does test both end connectors. In the one reference cord testing of a patch cord, which is a shorter fiber with two connectors, the patch cord must be reversed to confirm both connectors' performance. Our three-minute video carefully walks you through each step. In this video, you will learn one patch cord reference testing using the FIS power meter and light source. Here are the items necessary for testing. FIS power meter and light source. Patch cords and an adapter. Mandrel for multi-mode and an FIS one-click bulkhead ferrule cleaner. You have the light source and power meter. For the light source, give it a few minutes for the laser to warm up. The display shows the current wavelength that is on. To change the wavelength, press the lambda symbol to 850 or 1300 nanometers. The top right button modules the tone, and bottom right button is for the backlight. On the power meter, when you turn it on, it will be on DBM to read absolute power. If you want to plug into a live signal, you can plug straight in and it will read your DBM value. To change the wavelength, press the lambda symbol. The bottom right button is the reference button. This is for to measure relative loss on patch cord or cable. First thing you need to do is clean the ports of the light source and power meter. Next, clean the connectors on the reference cord and plug it into the light source and power meter. For multi-mode testing only, you need to use a mandrel wrap. This mandrel is for 50 micron fiber. Also, there's a mandrel for 62.5 micron fiber. Wrap the cable four or five times. Take the clip and clip it into place. Here's the absolute value reading. Now it's time to reference or zero out the value. Press the reference button and the display changes to DBM to DB. It is important to never unplug the reference cord from the light source through the test. Always disconnect from the power meter. Remove the reference cord from the power meter and attach it to the adapter. Clean the connector on the patch cord, insert it into the adapter, then clean the other connector and plug into the power meter. The reading on the power meter will give the loss on the connector. To test the other connector, simply remove the connector from the power meter, insert it to the adapter and take the other connector and attach it into the power meter. The display shows the loss in dB of the other connector. Now you have completed the one reference cord test. Thanks for watching this video. There are more free training videos. Go to the playlist by clicking the top right.